Hey there, Frugal Brewers. We are going to try out a method that I personally haven't tried yet, but uh, I'm interested to try it today. Uh, Craft Malt Box was kind enough to send me some samples of different grains um, in order to get a feel for what their flavors will be like. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to uh, taste those, those flavors and see what it's all about. Uh, it's probably a good way to save some, some money so that you don't have to brew an entire beer before you get a feel for what the flavor of the combination of malts is gonna be. So I thought this would be interesting. Um, you're only gonna need some basic things that you probably have around your house in order to do this. Uh, one of them is getting yourself an insulated container. Uh, you're probably gonna want some coffee filters, a glass for the liquid to go in so that you can taste it. Um, thermometer so that you could uh, test the temperature of the water you're putting in. Basically, you're gonna to need to put the water at 150. And uh, at that point, you're basically killing off any bacteria that may be in the water and then giving the, uh, the malt a chance to kind of convert its sugar. So basically what we're doing is kind of doing a mini mash um, and not bring it to the level of fermentation. We're just getting a feel for what the flavors of the malts are gonna taste like. Um, so. Once you have these uh, pretty basic supplies, uh, you're also gonna need a grinder. It could either be a coffee uh, uh, bean grinder or you can get a miniature uh, blender and uh, use that to, to blend up the grains. So for today, what we're gonna be using is the San Jacinto Heritage Malt. This is gonna be a base malt. So what we want this base malt for is to get a feel for what the base malt flavor is gonna be and how, how it differentiates from the other malts that we're gonna be doing today. So the next one is a rye barrel aged chocolate malt, which is interesting because I really am interested to try a rye malt. I haven't tried any rye malts, but I have a feeling that the flavor is gonna be really interesting. I've always wanted to try rye. On with a alder smoked malt. So I think the, these different malts will get us give us a good feel for uh, the differences and the flavors, especially the smoke one. I'm interested to see how much of a smoky flavor comes out of that. Also interested to see what the um, rye malts are gonna taste like compared to the base malt. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So basically, uh, we're getting to the point to where it's been about 15 minutes. And to kind of give you a little bit of information about why it takes 15 minutes uh, is because that's how long it takes for the sugar to uh, convert and be extracted from the grains. So that's why 15 minutes is pretty much the minimum amount of time that you can do this for. In a normal mass sh mash situation, what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that for anywhere from half an hour to an hour. You can go longer if you can want, but uh, I would probably be more efficient and keep it between 30 to 30 minutes to an hour. And what you're want gonna wanna do is um, do a minimum of 15 minutes in order to get that conversion in there. Uh, so the reason that you need to do it for 150 degrees Fahrenheit is because that's the level at which the sugars uh, convert most easily. The higher in level you go, the um, more longer chain sugars you're gonna get and the harder those sugars are to ferment. So we're, we're, from, we're mashing these uh, grains at around 150 in order to uh, get the most out of those sugars and so we can get the most potent taste for when we want. Um, to be converted into alcohol. After trying a coffee filter, 
I found out that it does not work very well. The best, your best bet is to use a really, really thin strainer like this. You're not gonna get the really small pieces, but you are gonna get enough of it to where you can really just test the flavor of the malts. And eating the malts is fine. You can even break, bake bread or make pizza out of it. So um, this is probably your best bet to use one of these. Otherwise it's gonna take forever and you're just gonna make a huge mess. that dark chocolate malt color. Looks real good. All right, now that we got this last one out of the way. It's time to do our taste testing. Okay, so again, these are probably still a little bit hot, so you can let it cool down a little bit before you start drinking this hot liquid, um, would be my suggestion. So now we are going to do our sample testing of the different uh, steeped grains and their flavorings. Um, on the left here, we have our base two row malt. Um, in the middle here, we have our alder smoked malt. It's got a nice, a little bit of a darker color, but it's still actually pretty light. And then over on the very right, I have the rye barrel aged chocolate malt. Um, it's a, a lot darker color. Looks like it's more of a brown than anything. Doesn't look like it's quite to the stout level, but more of a brown. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and give each of these a smell too, just kind of see what kind of smells we get. So the basic two row is Kind of like a, you know, what you would expect, a very bland cereal kind of malt. Just kind of smells like your basic oatmeal. Yeah, the, uh, the smoked malt really does give off a very smoky scent. I can, I can definitely smell it from, you know, pretty far away too. So it's really intense. And over on the right, we have the chocolate malt chocolate rye and you can and you can kind of smell it is it has a chocolatey smell with a bit of a uh, really sugary sweet kind of smell almost and I can kind of smell it kind of smells a, a bit woody as well all right now we're gonna do our test our base malt test Tastes like your basic uh, base sugary oatmeal. Now time for the uh, smoked malt. Wow, it really, it has a smoky flavor, but the taste is not very smoky. Maybe a little bit on the back end, but the taste of that is not overly overwhelming, but the smell, is definitely overwhelming. So that's interesting to note. We'll have to test that out in the future. And then we got our rye barrel aged chocolate malt. First, little palate cleanser. All right. Oh, wow. Ooh, that's a really, that has a bitter, a bitter kind of taste to it, a very burnt taste. Not something I really like the flavor of, but it'd be interesting to see what, uh, what kind of fermentation, what fermentation would do to that. But I don't know, I don't know if it's the rye or what, I'll have to do some more hot steeps with the, uh, with beers I've already tried out before just to kind of kind of see what the difference is. But I do not like the taste of that. This taste is pretty good because it doesn't have an overwhelming smoky taste. The smell is really good and really interesting though. And then your base malt be good for a, a, a nice base beer. And you, you can actually make a lot of uh, beers with just using your base malt without having to try all the other different malts along with it. But uh, thanks for joining us here. Uh, 
I tried out these three today. Maybe we'll do some more in the future, but uh, good shout out to uh, Craft Mall Fox for giving me the opportunity to test this out. I've never done it before. Um, and it was a little bit of a learning process, but uh, go ahead and uh, visit uh, frugalhomebrew.com, check out more.